Hello, this is Dr. Dave Gatros, and I'd like to welcome you to my presentation on multiplexers. Now, before we get to multiplexers, let's back up a little bit and let's review decoders. I've got a video out there on decoders, which basically goes over this kind of circuitry. In a decoder, what we have is we have two signals that are coming in A and B. And what that does is it turns on an AND gate that says I want the signal 00, zero to come out or I want zero, 01 to come out or I want 10 uh, to come out or 11 one, one to come out. So it turns on an AND gate depending upon the selectors that are coming in. Now that's a decoder. In a decoder, this is called a 2-4 decoder, I have two signals coming in and I have one of four coming out, only one of which is actually going to make it. We use decoders in multiplexers, so let's look at multiplexers. In a multiplexer, what I want to happen is I want to have signals A, B, C, or D. And what I want that to happen is I want that signal to come out in a single location. If you'll see right here, you'll see in this right here, the decoder hidden in these AND gates right here. This is another AND gate. Um, these are two of my selector switches. And uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to draw these in to show you how it works. So if I want A to come out, okay, A to come out, I want S1 to be 0. This is a negation right here, so I'm going to draw this over here. This to be 0 and that to be 0. And if S1 and S2 are 0, then this AND gate will come out and go into that OR gate. If this B selector, I want this one to come out if it's 0, 1. So S would be 0. That's the NOT gate up there. And S2 would be 1. So that would make this 1, 1. And then this signal would come out. See what I want to happen is I want this to be 1, 0. So 1 and then 0. And you'll see that this one is negated. If you like, I'll, I'll draw these in right here for you. So when this is 1 and 0, then this AND gate will win, and this signal will come out. Now, let me back up and remind you that it doesn't matter whether the signal coming in is 0 or 1. That's the one that will win, and that's the one that will come out. Finally, we have D, and we want those to be 1 and 1. And when uh, both S1 and S2 are 1s, okay, then uh, that will win, and this AND gate will win out. So that's how a multiplexer works. This is a 4 to 1 multiplexer. Uh, you can have 4 to 1, 8 to 1, 16 to 1, 32 to 1, any size you want. But you can see that the decoder is contained right in here. This is the decoder right here. Okay, And by adding the input signals, and a common OR gate, we make it a multiplexer. And that's multiplexers in a very short little demonstration.